welcome to the Miami Heat Zone Podcast. I'm your host, Martel Llewellyn. We're pushing the 5,000 subscribers. Hit that subscribe button and thank you for all the support. So the Miami Heat also want to see what good players become available in the trade market in the weeks ahead. The problem is that we don't really have that many assets, no first round picks. And then also too, when we make these trades, a lot of these teams, they don't want to take salary. So let's say that if we want to trade Tyler Hero to the Chicago Bulls for DeMar DeRozan, they don't want his salary. And same thing with Duncan or Terry. So the Miami Heat really have their hands tied behind their back in terms of trying to upgrade this roster. That's because over the past few years, they've done a terrible job with asset management and maneuvering flexible contracts. Nobody wants any of our players. And even if they do, like I said, they don't want to take on the salary. And also, too, who's really out there for the Miami Heat to get outside of Zach Levine, DeMar DeRozan, and Brandon Ingram? Now, out of the group, I would definitely go Brandon Ingram. I know they all kind of have injury concerns outside of DeMar DeRozan. Zach Levine and Ingram, they haven't really been healthy. And then sometimes it's like, are they really worth the price that they're getting paid? But then at the same time, you know, we as Heat fans, we want to see something different on the court. We don't want to see another run back season. How many times are you going to run back the same core? Six, seven, eight, nine times? Let me know in the comments, who do you guys want the Miami Heat to trade with who's left? Or we would have to settle for maybe a smaller type of trade where you maybe trade Tyler or Duncan or Terry, but then you get two high-level role players if you can, depending on the team you're going to make a trade for. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe as we continue to push to 5,000 subscribers.